fifty floor. Or now I will give the floor to the person who will celebrate or who will commemorate the election of the honorary cyber um, helper. Last year, we created the Cyber Helper program with the aim uh, of um, recognizing the public work of a, of a person in the public spotlight in this uh, work towards recognizing the um, important role of cybersecurity in our country. But we can do it on our own. So we know many professionals that devote their free time to go to schools and high schools to talk about these topics with um, the children and to the students on, for example, how to use, how to safely use the technology. So it came to us uh, as an idea, um, the creation of this award to recognize the work of a cyber helper. So we received, um, we have 300 cyber helpers that help us uh, by giving talks and conferences throughout Spain. And we have three honorary cyber helpers, famous people who represent the values of tolerance, respect, solidarity in the online world, a safe and responsible use of the technologies. They belong to the political field by and they represent these values and try to spread the word among our children and students. Uh, Vicente del Bosque, the um, uh, former uh, coach of the national team, and Jesus Calleja, an adventurer, have been the two previous honorary cyber helpers. And now we are choosing the new cyber cooperating person we have chosen for this uh, for this year's edition. Um, she has a degree by the University of Oxford and over 500,000 followers in the social media. She is a writer and a role model in the application of emotional intelligence for bringing about a positive change. And that's why we have chosen Elsa Ponset to be the new cyber, coopera, cyber cooperating person of this year's edition. Thank you very much, Alberto, and those of you who have uh, voted for me. Who would have said to me when I was a child, because I am a digital immigrant, who could have told me that one day I would be here and that you would be choosing me as a person who could inspire, accompany other people towards a better use of the digital world. It's a great honor for me. When I was coming here from Madrid this morning, I was remembering an anecdote by Einstein and the relativity theory. Some say that Einstein had to stroll or had to travel throughout the United States with a chauffeur. And he had to deliver speeches and give talks and to explain what he thought that was uh, maybe important about his uh, major discoveries and breakthroughs. And Einstein was very tired of those trips. And the chauffeur realized that Einstein was tired. So one day, the chauffeur said, oh, Mr. Einstein, you're really tired. I've heard you deliver your speeches so many times. 
that if you want to stay at the bottom of the room, at the end of the room, I can deliver the speech for you. And then if you want, you can answer the questions. And Einstein, who had a good sense of humor, said, OK, you'll do that. We'll do that. So then the speaker did that. Well, the, the driver did that. And he responded, Einstein or the driver responded to the questions, the first two questions. But then the third question, he said, well, um, this question is so, so, so easy that even my driver who's sitting there at the end of the room will be able to answer it, referring to Einstein. So we're talking about a world in which uh, nobody used, uh, nobody knew what in Einstein looked like. That's why this anecdote can be real. There was no internet, so the only way you could talk to someone was to go there and talk to there physically. Uh, you can, you could maybe see a picture in the newspapers, but that was all. And now I'd like to give you a few hints that can prove to be useful for you in your profession if you want to share them. The first is that the human beings are programmed to be empathic, empathetic. That's what, make us, uh, that's what makes us be living organisms. Empathy is the ability to stand in the others shoes and emotions uh, we can get them we can spread them like a virus and we can also spread our joy our sadness we can also get the sadness of others the joy of others so what has changed now that our world our physical and real world is also a digital world that now we are not empathetic anymore. It's very hard for us to become empathetic because if we are looking at a screen, we cannot look at the eyes of the person. We cannot look in the eyes of the person we're seeing. And it's so easy to harm someone you cannot see. That's why violence has a sword. And that's why the responses are so aggressive, because you do not feel the others. You cannot be sympathetic towards the others. So you were talking about education, which of course is critical for human beings, because we depend on the ability we have to educate, meaning changing. So it's very important for us that our children, our adults, know that we lose our capacity to be empathetic if we are not careful enough. We have to remember, we have to pay specific and special attention not to harm others because we can be good, but we can also be evil. We can make good, we can make evil. We are living in a very passionate world, and we have to manage and handle our emotions. That, that's the first recommendation I have for you. And the second one is, since you were talking about teenagers and girls, what, what's going on in the case of teenagers? I remember Briguri. a psychologist by Harvard or at Harvard who said something that struck a chord in me. When girls reach 12 or 13 years of age, they change their body language. They stop looking in the eyes. They, they are not very um, straight in their body posture, and that sends a message to the people around them. And also, it sends a message to themselves, because the body language, when you feel powerful, when you adopt a powerful position with your hands on your hips or with your hands up, when you're like this, you create like a real chemical revolution in your body. 
and your assertion or assertiveness ability increases and the cortisol hormone goes down. So it would be very easy, or so it seems, to teach our girls how to care about their body language. So I will give you a gift. Emi uh, Curie gave me a gift, and I want to share with you this gift. I will say, I will ask you to stand up. Please stand up because I want to teach you how to adopt a powerful posture, a powerful position. Just two minutes. So raise your hands up to the ceiling. Even with two minutes or less, you will feel the power. So you can see, you can feel the testosterone level go up and the cortisol go down. That's a really powerful position or body posture. And now when I, at the count of three, one, two, three, you will cry with joy. Thank you. Thanks so much for those words. That is like uh, making everybody stand up. Thank you so much. With this, we finished the first international forum on cybersecurity agenda. We will start with a closing ceremony. For that, uh, before that, we are going to watch a video. I think it is already ready. It has been filmed uh, these two days. We will see the working groups working, the speakers, a great uh, job by the audiovisual team. If it is ready, let's go for it. El primer foro de ciberseguridad y género que son para más. El primer foro para mí y para todos los que están en la área de ciberseguridad. Hay dos temas principales: género y ciberseguridad, que trabajan muy en relación con el otro y se sienten muy necesarios. For UEA, this uh, joint uh, work with the government of Spain is very important to ensure cybersecurity, to ensure the participation and involvement of women in cybersecurity. This is very important because women usually suffer uh, from harassment, mobbing, and her, their rights are being violated, but they have contributed so that uh, cybersecurity has a greater and greater diversity. This forum may be a turning point because we can analyze now why for a long time women has been infra represented in technological issues no? in comparison to men. So if with this forum we um, set the pillars and the basis for a future change, I think it will be in the benefit of everybody. The aim of this forum is to start analysis and discussion in an international framework of two problems related to cybersecurity. First, the professional development of the youngsters, and more specifically, in terms of women, because we have a lower percentage of women in the technological world and even less in terms of cybersecurity and then to address and design strategies and actions to fight against a digital um, a divide. We will have a national and international experts uh, from different fields with different experiences from 12 countries altogether. This will be just the, start, uh, the starting point of uh, further work.
Y ahora sí, para clausurar este primer... And now to officially close this first uh, international forum on gender and cybersecurity, I'll give the floor to Mr. Alberto Nande, General Director for INCB and the Secretary for uh, American States. Es muy importante estar cerrando It's este very evento. important to officially close this event with such an enthusiasm and willingness to continue working and even better and unquestionably to do it together, men and women joining efforts for the entity I represent. It has been a pleasure to share this forum and this work with Alberto and his team. I am convinced of the fact that next year it will take place as well, maybe better, maybe in America, or in another American country, why not, that may host the Congress. We leave this Congress with lots of responsibilities, but also with more willingness, with an ample vision and everybody, men and women, involved in the new plan ahead of us, that is that cybersecurity has this approach, security of countries, of economic data, but also security of life, rights, adversity, justice for men and women equally. I'd also like to add to this that everything that has happened here in these two days has been so good. It's possible because we have teams, right, uh, Alberto, and they work a lot. So, on behalf of the of my um, entity, I'd like to thank very much Barbara for her hard work and other people from the organizing committee. I'm sure that in Incibe, they have a very special group of people. So I'd like to ask you to give them a round of applause because without them, this Congress would not have been made possible. And congratulations, uh, authorities, ladies, gentlemen, good afternoon. We are reaching the very end of this first international forum, a forum that we started to design only four months ago, a team uh, from INCIVE met uh, a team of the OEA in Washington to start to work on this idea, that is to generate a reflection forum focused on gender diversity, gender cybersecurity, and actions to fight against gender violence online. Four months after, we are here closing this forum. We are very pleased and very happy of how things have gone the role of OAS and INCIBE has been just to facilitate the meeting, eh, to, to make everything possible. But uh, this forum and the success of this forum is thanks to you all. And you have done things with a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, the work of the task forces, working groups, etc. Enthusiasm, we could see a coffee break and last evening with gin tonics as well having a dance. Eh? We have talked from early morning to late night from different standpoints. Uh, we have had more than 80 national and international experts representing 15 countries, Argentina, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Colombia, Guatemala, Portugal, Suriname, Dominican Republic, UK, Estonia, Finland, Mexico, Panama, Peru, United States, Canada, and UK. I don't know whether I have skipped some of them, sorry. But 15 countries for the first time discussing these topics in an international framework, and experts that come from different uh, um, fields of action, uh, uh, security forces, uh, legal uh, field, uh, lawyers, NGOs, uh, civil society, the media, journalists, lawyers, independent or freelancers. 
So we have discussed things from different uh, standpoints. We have shared opinions, and that is very enriching. Also, of course, the participation of more than 500 people attending the Congress for more than two days, streaming more than 600 people. We also had more than 500 tweets with the hashtag gender and cybersecurity in Spanish, of course. Successful data of this first forum, but that has been made possible thanks to all those people who got involved from the very beginning in this project and they believed in it, very many. When we disseminated the idea, they got involved like in CIBE and OAS to take this project to safe harbor. And also thank you to the sponsors, First Point, Huawei, Ingenia, Panda, Innotech, Innovery, IBFM, Karpersky, and Ibersegur. Thank you so much to the sponsors for the great unconditional support to develop and organize this uh, seminar. And the work done here, and uh, as Ideli mentioned, is only the very beginning. The idea is to continue working on this topic. So the conclusions that have been put forward will be elaborated further. They will be uh, translated into an open document so that all of you can comment on that document. And we will welcome your comments. And at the end of the year, we will uh, put forward the conclusions at the Forum on Expertise in India. And next year, uh, we will repeat the Congress in America, of course. America will be our host. Before finishing, thank you. Acknowledgements. Thank you very much to OAS for having supported us and for working jointly in this project and other projects we are working on in terms of cybersecurity. And Sibe is very proud of working with uh, OAS uh, in cybersecurity aspects in our country and other countries. Thank you very much to all the countries that have attended the forum, have shared their experiences with everybody. Thank you very much to the city of Leon and the authorities, the community of Castile and Leon for the support given. Thank you to all speakers and participants of the working groups. While some of us were enjoying uh, this, the talks, some experts were working out there at the lobby, sponsoring companies, of course. Thank you so much. Thank you to the photographers, uh, technical support, auditorium staff. Thank you so much. Our presenter, master of ceremonies, uh, Monica Valle, thank you so much for your great work all the attendees and INCIBE and OAS teams for having made this first international forum possible, and we are all very proud of it. Thank you so much. I'm sure we will uh, meet again at the meeting we will organize in Leon uh, shortly, together with OAS. Thanks a lot. Juntos. Hombres, mujeres, la OEA y Insidio. Muchas gracias. Pediría, por favor, a todos los ponentes y participantes. I'd like to ask all the working groups, the speakers, Insidio team. You can come up here to the stage because we are going to take a family picture. Thank you.